This is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. Your mom and I decided we need a little romance in our lives. So I'm making all our favorite things for breakfast. Spinach quiche, blueberry muffins, a tropical fruit salad, and a stuffed turkey with all the fixins. Wow, that's quite a spread. Even if Thanksgiving is six months away. And my present to your father is that we're going out of town for the night to celebrate. Really? Where are we going? We aren't. It's your father and I who are going away. You four are staying here. Really? That's awesome. I mean, how awesome for you. And you have nothing to worry about. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice offer, Lee. But we aren't leaving you in charge. We're leaving you all with a babysitter. <laughs> Her name is Melinda, and she'll be here at 5 p.m. on the dot, so no dilly-dallying. I'm so excited. Having a babysitter is going to be seriously fun. No kidding. We can get away with all kinds of stuff with her in the house. Plus, it'll be nice to have another girl around. I mean, I'm 13. I'm no baby, and I definitely don't need to be sitted. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Mom and Dad, because they so don't agree. And judging by that pouty face you're making, you might just be the biggest baby of all. Speaking of being sitted, I've been <gasps> sitting here for quite some time waiting for you. Jerry? Is that you? Indeed. Now, chop chop, it's spy time. <laughs> I always thought Jer was a bit of a bird brain, and this totally confirms it. So, what's our assignment, Jerry? You're to investigate the mysterious disappearance of two of our most beloved whoop agents. <gasps> what exactly do you mean by mysterious? Mysterious, as in vanished without a trace. One minute they were on a mission, the next minute they were gone. Jerry, this is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. <sighs> now, I'm afraid this transmission is all we have to go on. She was looking into the disappearance of an agent named Dean at the time. Too bad all we can see is the reflection from the glass window Brittany was looking through. Indeed. Now, allow me to access your gear. Lee, will you do the honors? Sure, boss. Today we have the pocket parachute. The rain or shine umbrella shield. Ooh, functional and cute. The ferocious flash button camera. Wow, impressive technology. And last but not least, the SSSSSSS. AKA the Stealthy Silent 7 Seater Supersonic Surfboard, the ultimate in sporting equipment. Awesome, instead of hanging dead, we can hang seven. Huh? Oh dear, it appears another agent, Blaine, is in danger. Don't worry, Chair. We'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Excellent. Now, off you go to Monaco. Whoa! Talk about a cool spot for a possible abduction. I'm glad you like it, because I'm tracking the distress call to a yacht up ahead. Uh, I think we'll have a better chance of stopping the villain if we approach in a stealthier mode. See no more, baby face. Oh. I'm so gonna pretend you didn't just say that. Finally, I got you as smooth as we are. There it is, Spies, the yacht. In that case, it's time for a little tag team action. Old brother that still needs a babysitter. Very funny, Mark. Uh, huh? Come on, guys, that's our cue. <laughs> Hold it right there. Actually, you're the 
ones who are gonna need to hold it. If you move, the liquids will mix together and explode. <laughs> of course, if you don't move, the fuse will ignite the liquids anyway. And it's goodbye, spies. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> okay, Monaco just went from glamorous to treacherous. We better think of something quick, because that fuse isn't getting any longer. Then I guess we're all going to have to move at once. On the count of three. One, two, three! Awesome plan, Boy Wonder. You can thank me later. Right now, we've got a bad guy to stop. Great idea, except for the part where he's taking off on our surfboard! Oh, well, at least he left a clue. He did? Yeah, some kind of weird rubbery substance. Now let's get back to Whoop and analyze it ASAP. <gasps> Sorry, big bro. What we need to do is get home ASAP. You're right. Lee's babysitter's gonna be there any minute. Uh... We made it back on time. Hi, I'm Melinda. I'm really pumped to be here. Well, we're pumped to have you. After all, you come highly recommended. Which is why you have nothing to worry about while you're gone. We're all gonna have an unforgettable time together. <clears throat> then I suppose we'd better get out of your hair. Bye, kids. Who wants help with their homework? Mm, that depends. You know anything about computer science? <laughs> well, I know a little something. On account of it's my major. No way! You're a tech geek too? How about you, Megan? What can I help you out with? I got anything. Unless you happen to speak French. Maybe. French is my minor. Computers and foreign languages? You're too good to be true. Unfortunately, I don't have any homework. But I do need to work on my soccer moves. I'll be happy to show you all I know. Which is a lot, considering I'm on my school squad. <laughs> awesome! What can I do for you, Lee? Nothing. I've got it all under control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real controlled, big boy. <sighs> okay, guys, it's dinner time. Tell me what you'd like to eat. I'll take a burger. Salad, please. Large pizza with the works. No problem. I can make them all. So, not only are you super smart and athletic, but you're also a gourmet cook? Afraid so. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. You're officially the best babysitter ever! <laughs> Thanks! So, what do you want for dinner, Lee? I'm an expert at baking and egg smiley faces! I'm old enough to fix my own meal, preferably one without a face. <laughs> ah! Wow, another great move, Mr. Maturity! everyone, it's movie time. Should we watch the Kid Wizard story, the child spy film, or the tween girl flick? I see we watch them all. Yeah! Let's do it! Then I guess I better make extra popcorn. Are you in, Lee? No way! I'm not interested in watching any dumb kids' movies. Oh, really? Then why did you uh, spend three months allowance buying the entire animated Penguin feature trilogy? Give me those! <laughs> Uh, so what if I like penguin movies and can't make my own dinner? I'm a professional spy. I don't need to be treated like a child. And I'm gonna prove just how adult I am by busting out of here. Thanks to the pocket parachute, no one will be the wiser. So what should I do first? Visit a friend's house, take it a football game, go to a PG-13 movie. Ah! Help me! <laughs> Help! Help! Hello? Sorry for ringing you so late, but I have important information. After analyzing the sample you sent, I've determined that the substance is some kind of synthetic skin. 
understanding kids speak that means? Whomever we're dealing with could be wearing a disguise, so you should be extremely careful and keep an eye on each other. Speaking of which, where has your babysitter gone off to? I don't know, she was here when we fell asleep. Come on, we better make sure nothing bad happened to her. Okay, not only is Melinda MIA, but so is Lee. Then we'd better investigate OTT. OTT? On the triple! Oh, that won't be necessary. Melinda, you're okay! Of course I am, silly. Well, what about Lee? Where is he? He snuck out of the house, but I'll take you to him. Right after I slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> <gasps> I can't believe it! You tricked us! <laughs> Sorry, that's just what us evil spies do. Evil spies? What are you talking about? And more importantly, where's our brother and the other agents? You'll find all that out soon enough. <laughs> but not as soon as you might think. <laughs> okay, now that was just plain sneaky. Sorry, that's just what us good spies do. And to think I was actually starting to develop a crush on her. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me again why we're hiding in a broom closet, Mark. Because it's the only place I could think of. Okay, so now that we're here, what should we do? Figure out exactly who we're dealing with. Luckily, I was able to snap a close-up. No way! According to the database, his name is Mel, and he used to be a whoop spy. One of the most talented the agency has ever known. Guess that explains why he's mastered everything from Disguise 101 to advanced food prep. So what went wrong? When he was denied a promotion, he turned evil and tried to blow up Whoop and spent the last year in prison until he broke out. And now he's kidnapping spies to get revenge? There's only one person who can answer that for sure, Lee. Which is exactly why I'm going to call him. <laughs> There's no answer. Then I'm going to send Jerry an SOS. And in the meantime, if we want to save Lee and the others, we're going to have to take out Mel. <laughs> Where are you, you little spies? Come out, come out, wherever you are. going down that easily. Because in addition to being brainy, sporty, and charming, I'm also a master of spy jitsu. Boy, when Melinda said we were going to have an unforgettable time, she wasn't kidding. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Spy. It's time to kick things up a notch. Figures a computer science nerd would have terrible aim. Yeah. Good thing he's got a soccer player brother to back him up. <laughs> or not. Okay, kitties, I've had enough funny games. It's time to show you who's in charge. <laughs> that would be me and the Rain or Shine Umbrella Shield. <gasps> yeah! Wow, awesome move, Megan! Big time. Now we need to find Lee and the other spies. And then I suggest you climb aboard. <gasps> In the flesh, you may have captured me, but you'll never find your friends.
I came just as soon as I got your signal. Well, here's another red alert for you. Former Whoop agent Mel is the one behind the kidnappings. Of course. He's abducting the very spies who were promoted instead of him. I should have realized it earlier. Well, thanks to Megan, he's no longer a threat. Now all we've got to do is find his lair. Too bad Whoop doesn't have any psychics on staff. Who needs psychics when you have video? Come again? Jer, could you replay the transmission Brittany sent you? Jerry, this is Brittany. I think I might be onto something. Look. Uh, all I see is a smudge. It's not a smudge, Megan. It's an image reflected in the glass. If I can invert it and bring it into focus, we might be in business. Whoa, it's a neon sign in the shape of a hat. According to the computer, it's located in the city's warehouse district. Then that means Lee and the others are in the building across the street. Then what are we waiting for? Let's kick this bird into high gear. You got it, spies. Time for some quick work, team. The fuses on the bombs are about to run out. Way to state the obvious, Jer. Luckily, I've already noticed the sprinkler valves all over the ceiling. Then all we've got to do is find the main switch and turn them on. There it is, on the other side of the room. No problem with our jet boots. Wait a second! Uh, isn't there such a thing as an easy mission? Guess not, because the only way we're going to get to that valve is to walk on top of the bombs. Easy spies, just like you're walking on logs across water. Yeah, except logs don't explode. <laughs> just put one foot in front of the other and think about Lee. The, the part where I want to save him or the part where I want to yell at him for sneaking out? You can yell at him later. Right now, we need to form a human totem pole, biggest to smallest. togetherness, but this is ridiculous! Okay, T, less talking, more sprinkler triggering! Saving me, guys, and I'm really sorry I acted like such a baby. Baby doesn't even begin to cover it. Megan's right. Sneaking out of the house was about the least grown-up thing you could do. Yeah, I know. It'll never happen again. Uh, guys, speaking of grown-ups, Mom and Dad are gonna be home any minute. You're right. And not only are we not home, our house is totally trashed. It is. It quite. But no worries. Uncle Jerry will take care of everything. <laughs> Behold, the Whoop Car, or Cleaning and Repair Robot. Amazing. I'll have to borrow it next time Tony's half of our room gets messy. How many times have I told you? I'm not messy, just artistic. We're back! <gasps> Did you miss us? More than you could ever imagine. Hey, where's Melinda? Here I am! <gasps> did you have a nice time on your getaway? We did. Which is why we're going away again next weekend. Are you free to babysit? <gasps> <I'm so laughs> <good. laughs> I gotta go.
There's only so much a man can take. They'll simply hand first, second, and third place to me. Huh. Ah. Gentlemen, try to keep your eyes inside your cranium and observe. Oh, and feel free to take notes. Yeah! yeah. Ah. <laughs> nice try, boys. Better luck next year. Are you call those moves? Uh, guys, could you please have this fascinating conversation on the other side of the city? I'm trying to meditate here. And the crowd cheers as Megan sits motionless, looking like a confused chicken for two hours. This is an incredible feat of athleticism that no one has ever attempted before. It's truly amazing. I'll have you know that it takes major physical and mental skill to do yoga. <laughs> Let's just say that sitting on a mat is the perfect activity for girls who can't skate. Good one. Okay, you're saying that because I'm a girl, I can't skate? No, we're saying that you shouldn't skate because you're a girl. <laughs> Pay attention. You might learn a thing or two. learned that you're even worse than we thought you were. That yoga mat is looking pretty safe right about now. Well, that's the way, boys, because I'm going to sign up for the tournament and beat all of you. Huh? Whoa, what's happening? Did Megan's bad skating break the half pipe? Ah! Whoa! Hello, spies. Hope I didn't interrupt anything. Nah, just a little comedy routine Megan was putting on with a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, I see. Well, the comedy will have to wait. There's some serious goings on in Dubai. We're getting reports of strange tremors and huge, inexplicable dust storms. Oh, that sounds amazingly boring. Don't you got any fun missions for us to go on, Jay? Huh? Sorry, fresh out of fun disasters as well as other spies. <laughs> huh? Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Mark, listen carefully. I need you to stop at the grocery store for me before you come home. But, Mom, I don't have time for that right now. Well, you're just going to have to make time if you expect to eat tonight. Pick up milk, eggs, tofu, parsley, and apple juice. Got all that? Huh? Oh, yeah, no problem, Mom. Way to go, Jerry. Does that thing do any daily chores? Unfortunately, like you, I suspect, it doesn't. It does, however, dispense gadgets. Today, you'll be getting the Stop In Your Tracks Taffy, a super sticky taffy that can gum up most anything, and the Instant Breeze Sunglasses, outfitted with amazingly powerful mini fans, and the No Trouble Bubble Barrier. Thank you. Your jet away, spies. <laughs> 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 Hmm. <laughs> 
Not sure what Jerry was talking about. Things look pretty good down there to me. <laughs> you mean boring? Told you this mission was gonna be worse than watching paint dry? Better Shredder 3000 Skateboard? Guaranteed to help you learn to shred quick. <gasps> this is exactly what I need to win that skate tourney. <laughs> Hey, what's with the smoke? Someone's barbecue get out of hand down there. Oh no, the groceries. Mom's gonna freak. If these eggs fall off the plane with us, we'll turn into a human omelet. <laughs> if you can get the engines back on, we're gonna be pancakes. I don't wanna be any sort of breakfast food. Megan, Tony, you'll be jumping. What are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna try and land this thing if I can get some visibility. No! Ah! Ah! See you on the ground, bros. We don't have much time. We're losing altitude fast. What about the roof of that abandoned building down there? It's small, but it's worth a shot. The edge of the building is coming up fast! Whoa! After that, I kind of wish we would have just crashed. Hmm? You might just get your wish! This building's about to go down fast! This building might be going down, but we're not! I hope Jerry has plane insurance. If he keeps sending us on missions like this, we're gonna need spy insurance. Come on. Team two, do you read me? Guys, I'm so happy you're alive. I wasn't sure we'd ever hear from you again. I didn't think you'd hear from us either. So, what do you see at your location? Plenty of soot and piles of building rubble. We've also found a bunch of strange small metal balls. Weird. We've got a building down too but no clues. Don't count us out yet, big bro. We've got these. Well, we're not gonna win any Clue of the Year awards, but we can take some images. Okay, I'll send this to Whoop. Now, who's gonna call Jer so we can get a ride back home? Hello, Jerry. Uh, we have a favor to ask you. Mom's not home yet. Good, I have time to run out and replace the groceries that splattered inside the jet, which is pretty much all of them. <laughs> and we also have time to do some of our chores before Mom has a partial meltdown. Don't tell me you haven't finished your chores yet. And what happened to the groceries? The jet I was in uh, hit some turbulence. This isn't funny, Mark. You need to behave like a responsible young adult. You all do. Now clean up your rooms while I try to make some sort of dinner out of this mess. Chop, chop. After that last mission, the last thing I feel like doing is cleaning my room. Welcome to the life of a spy kid. Huh? What's this? The Better Shredder 3000? <gasps> wow, that was fast! <laughs> yeah! Oh, this baby's my ticket to show those boys what a girl's capable of! <laughs> Megan scream, right? It was definitely a scream. But where'd she go? She was just here a minute ago. Whatever happened, it looks like this is the way she left the house. That's not the sound. Oh no, it's mom. We gotta do something quick. Ah! Boys, what exactly are you doing? Since we all had so much dirty laundry, we decided to do it all together to save water. Uh-huh. And where is your sister? Um, she went to go buy more laundry detergent. After all, there's a lot of dirty clothes here. Resourceful thinking, kids. Better get going. I'm sure you have some homework to do later. Wow, I can't believe she bought it. She won't believe us forever. We need to figure out what happened to Megan. Look for clues. All I'm seeing are all sorts of weird girly things. Wait a 
a second. What's this? My guess is that it would be trash. This is postal packaging from something that arrived today, but there's one thing missing. Whatever came in it. So if we can figure out the origin of the package, it might help lead us to Megan. Jerry, we've got an emergency. We need a pronto whooping. Ah! Oh dear, what is that positively putrid odor? It's Megan's dirty clothes. They kind of came along for the ride. Well, I'm forced to take care of this. I knew that thing did laundry, too. Who should have brought mine? Okay, enough laundry talk. We've got a crisis on our hands. Megan is missing. I wonder if this has anything to do with your recent mission. Which reminds me, the results of the tests on the clues have just come back. They have? What did you find? Turns out these ball bearings are specifically for skateboard wheels, except they're made of a highly sophisticated alloy. Wow. Really? Fascinating. But weird. What does that have to do with huge dust clouds and buildings coming down? What's more, the clues in the pavement are consistent with skateboard dimensions. Check out this impression I captured of what was in the package. A skateboard? I'm starting to see a distinct pattern here. Since there's no return address, I lifted a fingerprint off the packaging. Maybe we can trace the mailman's path. It looks like the package is local. It came from that warehouse on the bad side of town. Excellent work, spies. There's the destination of your investigation. Off you go. Megan likes extra fabric softener on her socks. Hmm. Don't push your luck, little man. You were. Oh, ho, ho, ho! There it is. Doesn't look like there's any security, but we still have to get over that fence. Not a problem. Just walk this way. <gasps> you know, for a little guy who doesn't always use his brain first, he comes up with some good ideas sometimes. <laughs> Doing, Megan? I'm not in control of this thing. It has a mind of its own. She's right on our tail. If you just back off, Megan, I'll give you my dessert for a week. Forget that. Follow me. Oh, that ought to keep her occupied for a while. Uh, thanks, guys, I think. <laughs> Enough toying around. This is a training facility, not a playground. Hey, it's champion skateboarder Stony Falcon. Kinda. Hey, Stony, what happened to you? You're looking really weird these days. Correction, I look great, and I have some great news. All three of you have qualified to join my skate army. Yeah! yeah. Skate army? What exactly does this skate army do? It advances the world of skating by destroying any and everything in our path. Including buildings, cities, automobiles? <laughs> yeah, that's progress. Skateboarding has been banned throughout city streets worldwide, and now it's time to take back those streets. <laughs> Did Jerry give us a street jacket gadget? Because this loon sure could use it. He wasn't kidding. He really does have an army. Apparently, you don't appreciate my vision for the future of skating. So we'll just have to leave you behind. Onward, skateboard soldiers! <laughs> So when did I turn into a crumbling building magnet? Man, when they say Stony Shreds, they aren't kidding. We've got to get after him before he gets too far away. 
But where are they headed and how are we going to get there? Hmm. Jerry, we need your help. Correction, your city needs your help. It appears to be under assault by a legion of skateboarding hoodlums. Sounds like Stoney's army, all right. Can you get us there fast? Okay, I'll send you a helicopter ASAP. Hey, our boards are still here. We better split up and see if we can find the army before they destroy the city. On it. Done. Whoa! The easy does it, guys. We're all brothers of the board here. Or not. I found some of the skaters, and they're laying waste to the city. There's a bunch over here, too. We need to teach these skaters some skate etiquette and fast. Let's go. What's this? Those skate rats managed to escape my warehouse? Well, they won't escape my army! Get them, boys! And girls! Nice! I knew they couldn't hang with my stellar moves. I can defy gravity, too. Whoa. This calls for a gadget. Oh. This stop in your tracks taffy really lives up to its name. Mmm, tastes pretty good, too. Guys, I'm with Stoney. You hear that, guys? Meet us there. We're all over it. Why are we stopping at my house? This can't be good. What a pleasant little house. After we grind it to dust, we can put a nice half pipe here. It's the perfect location. <laughs> Stony, wouldn't it be better if we shredded over at the junkyard and put a half pipe over there? That's exactly what society would like us to do, Missy. Shove us off into a dingy corner. But not after today. <gasps> you again? I thought I took care of you three for good. Not a chance, Stoney. What makes you think you can force people to skate? Yeah, wherever there's people skating against their will, we'll be there to put an end to it. We'll see about that. Seek and destroy! <laughs> Time to use the no trouble bubble barrier. I'll tell you, it's not easy having a house in the middle of a city. The construction that goes on in this neighborhood. Well, you're the real estate agent, dear. We can always move. <laughs> We don't have the boards to compete with Stoney. He's got us beat. Or does he? That should do the trick. Now Stoney won't be able to control this board by remote. Hey, nice board. This should even out the odds a little. Oh, I think you can help master the master, huh? Time to bring on the heat. Hey! Oh. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> One coming. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to modify your board so you're in control of it. Oh, maybe it would be better if I wasn't in control. Nonsense, come on. <gasps> Sorry, but I'm gonna have to blow you guys off. <gasps> now to destroy this miserable little house once and for all. <laughs> Oh, what do you think you're going to do? I've been 
know, maybe slice your board in half and make you look like a total idiot? Let me out of here! Come on, dudes! We're fellow skater pals, man! The only pals you're gonna have from now on are at the Whoop Prison. <laughs> Okay, boys, I am ready to drop a skateboard whipping on you at the tournament. Huh? What are you guys doing sitting around? We're gonna be late for your harsh lesson. After that last mission, this is just my speed. Yeah, I'm feeling very at one with the Earth. In fact, I'm never riding a skateboard again. Now, if you don't mind, could everyone keep it down? I'm trying to meditate. What? But that mission was all the training I needed to show you that a girl can shred at least as well as boys. Now let's hit it! It's okay, Megan. We already know you shred. Yes! Yes, I do! <sighs> this move's called the Megan Mash! <laughs> and this is the Citrus Swirl! And here's the girl drive! 